Good evening and welcome to the Manila Times TV's newest show, Congress Diary. Good evening and welcome to the Manila Times TV's Congress Diaries. This is where we analyze, scrutinize, and explore the pros and cons of some of the more interesting and controversial bills in our Congress. I'm your host, Kim Bernardo Lokin. Now let's talk about uh, earthquake survival. Let's face it, no one, not even the experts, can predict an earthquake. The best way to survive such a calamity is to be always prepared. And most casualties come from collapsed buildings. And of course, this prompted appeals from several officials for the strict implementation and even a review of the National Building Code. This is a set of rules and regulations on the construction of all the buildings in the country. And this is to ensure that the structure will be safe even during an earthquake. But the question now is, is the current National Building Code outdated? We ask that question and more to our guest this evening, Congressman Romeo Momo Sr. So good evening, sir, and uh, thank you very much, Kong Momo, for uh, guesting here in Congress Diaries. Good evening, uh, Kong Kim. Yes. Good evening, lahat ng mga uh, viewers. viewers. Uh, yeah. Yes. Okay, thank you. So this is a very interesting topic, Kong. You are, let's start, you are with the party list group CWS. This is the construction workers... workers Solidarity, oh yeah. So we'll have to put it into context, yes. diba. So um, you filed a bill, yes. Uh, and you think that obviously our current uh, building code is uh, outdated. Why do you say so, sir? Yes, actually, uh, Kong, if uh, you remember, uh, more than forty years already had passed, and. Uh, Kanan ba katagal na yun? Katagal Kong? na yung batas, <laughs> and the PD, uh, the PD that we use. Uh oh. Had been existing there for quite a time, and there was not not even an amendment of that particular. Since that uh, time up to now. Until now, yeah. Oh, okay. That is why, and then uh, if uh, you, know, you remember, also we have uh, experienced so many calamities before. Yes. And the calamities that we that had been with us had been becoming stronger in terms of intensity, in terms of typhoons, and earthquakes are. Napabilis na masyado, no? Marami yes. ng earthquake almost every day there is an earthquake. Oh, because of climate change yeah, pa. Meron yeah. ding ganun. O oh, maraming factors. And the intensity also of earthquake is yes. becoming stronger. Stronger so now. So there is really a need for us to upgrade and update our building code mm -hmm. to touch up with all these problems. Right. So I understand that uh, your background is really in the construction, in the industry, and you have been uh, uh, a public servant also for so many years uh, working for the DPWH before. Yes, uh, Kong, I have been in DPWH for about 43 years. Already. Right, right. I have been another secretary for nine years. So I, I think I have... Uh, those experience already in terms mm -hmm. of building building and uh, renovating our our uh, structures right okay so let's start um how do we know first uh, th that a certain building or a structure is compliant with the national with the current and but you said outdated also national building code what are the what are the parameters what, what are we looking at right now well actually uh, um when you say compliant it means that it complies with all the technical as well as legal legal aspect of mm -hmm. uh, the construction of the building sure now on the technical side of course it will pass through scrutiny and uh, review of the local building officials mm -hmm. Uh, if it is the iconic or in modern building, there is supposed to be a review of peer mm -hmm. that designs the building, mm -hmm. and uh, all the requirements that is needed and uh, in the design are are passed and reviewed and uh, approved by the local building official. Mm -hmm. So that this means. This is Ganun lang ano? That, that's how basic it is, no? Yeah, but is, but yes. there are now uh, leaps and bounds in terms of technology uh, already yeah. and uh, obviously um, we have to catch up on that right so what are the salient points of the bill that you have filed and uh, why do you think that these are very important right now well right now uh, what you have said earlier there, there are a lot of uh, innovations in terms mm -hmm. of design 
there are materials, uh, technologies that are available in the market right now. Yes. Uh, which are not available before. Correct. I, I think this is one of the main reasons why the, it should be incorporated in our new building code. Mm -hmm. Such think, as, for example, uh, Kong? Such as, for example, in the retrofitting of buildings. No? Okay. Right now, um, there are technologies, modern technologies that uh, can be used in the renovation or retrofitting of buildings. Mm -hmm. And the other one is, of course, there are uh, instruments that measures the intensity of earthquakes yes. that can be put up in buildings. Right. Actually, I was <laughs> going to ask you that now, that uh, because uh, one of our questions here is that it's a building or a structure that is compliant with the National Building Code, automatically earthquake-proof. We have proven that it is not, diba right? That's why we need to amend it. But before you answer that, uh, Kong, we will be uh, right back. Let's pause for a break. Stay with us. Welcome back to our show, Congress Diaries. Our guest for tonight is Congressman Romeo Momo Sr. And uh, he has been discussing with us about uh, the plans for the updated National Building Code. So, um, Congressman, you were saying earlier you wanted to qualify, no? And uh, you wanted to tell us the scope of what you wanted. Tell us about it. Yeah, actually, one of uh, those uh, provisions in that particular bill mm -hmm. is the creation of the council. Okay. The council that oversee um, uh, the standards that will, will be put in by, well, for example, structural engineers. Yes. There is a, an organization called the Structural Engineers Association of the Philippines that mm -hmm. are the one uh, coming up with the design factors in terms of building. No? Yes. Uh, be it uh, design parameters for earthquake and then uh, for, for, for wind factor. They are the one that uh, determines, no? Mm -hmm. Yung council na yan, ito yung mag a no? I see. Uh, the council will be, will be composed of uh, different disciplines mm -hmm. and at the same time, uh, different agencies of governments. Oh, I see. So, um, this, uh, this bill proposes to create a new council yes. uh, for, for that one. And uh, how will you call this uh, new council? What's the proposal? Uh, there? Wala uh, pang... Uh, there is a, 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 a name already, but uh, it's quite a long name. But I, see. Uh, I, I think it's, it's being proposed in the bill. But uh, definitely, there are proposals that they will be changed to something like short, okay. a shorter one. A shorter one oh, para yeah. mas madaling para mas matandaan. Madaling tandaan. <laughs> Pero isa ka, subsume nyo ba doon mga, yung mga existing natin na there are uh, some agencies yata or some departments yes, yes. that are, ano eh, that, that are currently in place. a member already of this. So, yes. they will be part of this particular council. I see, I see. So it's like a super council. Yes, it's a super council. That, oh. It's a council that uh, the agencies and uh, uh, on disciplines that uh, is part of uh, the building construction, of building see. industry. Okay, so will this be under uh, an agency, uh, Kong? Yes. Like oh. before, uh, under uh, the previous uh, PD, mm -hmm. it is under the national building official is the Secretary of Public Works and Highways. I this see. time, oh. the same. Okay. However, we define a little bit more, we'll define the uh, offices. Mm -hmm. no, yung, we are proposing a creation of a bureau within the Department of Public Works and Highways. Okay. So that, uh, and so it, then also it will be cascaded down to regions, mm -hmm. and regions have a, shall have has a uh, uh, section uh, that uh, is uh, dedicated for uh, for uh, national building. But don't we have a Bureau of Construction right now? I, I, we have. We oh, have. Oh. So what will be the new roles then and how will they uh, play against each other or with each other? How will they work together? Well, actually, the national building official, it, ito yung... Ito yung 
trabaho wherein uh, yung mga compliance ng uh, process of construction may building private private and public mm -hmm. and uh, also yung kasi quasi judicial din ito eh mm -hmm. so may mga kaso ah, so din kasi so may uh, powers siya eh. may, may, oh, may, oh, may may regulatory yeah, powers regulatory siya powers siya. Oh. Yan. at the same oh. time uh, may mga kasong uh, uh, nare-resolve within uh, by within by, that by, agency. Yeah, oh. by 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 the national building official i see okay so Tamang-tama na banggit mo kong kanina yung uh, the quality of the earthquakes na nararamdaman ng Pilipinas ngayon ay much stronger. Yung intensity niya is uh, like something that we don't normally see before or experience before. So how will this be incorporated in the the new uh, proposal that uh, you have? Well, actually, um, sa ngayon, there is already a standards being set by the structural engineers increasing the design factor. Mm -hmm. of uh, seismic loadings in uh, the construction or the design of buildings. Right. Now, uh, uh, the Structural Engineers Association of the Philippines, well, uh, as there are earthquakes, stronger earthquakes that ca come in, oh, oh. they have to, uh, again, re-evaluate yes. and then probably introduce another design parameters. Uh, on uh, the seismic loading. Mm -hmm. Ganon din sa, 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 sa wind factor, sa typhoon. Ano? Mm -hmm. As the typhoon goes stronger, yes. dinidesign din natin yung ating mga buildings in okay. such a way that it can withstand the latest, strongest typhoon. Right. For example, before, ang design uh, criteria lang is about 120 km per hour. Okay. This time, dahil after Hayan, Hayan or oh, yes. uh, uh, Yolanda, that. Oh, oh. ay umabot hanggang 300. So, the design factor, hanggang 320 na. I see. So, yung pinakamalakas yeah, na yeah, yeah, nar yeah, naramdaman yeah, yeah. ng yeah, ating yes, uh, bansa. Yes, okay. Yes. So, Congressman, I think what the um, question will be uh, on the minds of our viewers will be, paano yung mga existing structures ngayon? So, yeah. paano natin <coughs> ngayon sila gagawin compliant at Paano yung mga talagang mga lumang-lumang building na yeah. na nakatayo? Pwede bang i-renovate yan? So, kasi some of them will not have, la like yung iba nga, wala pa nga ano, provisions for cable, for example, because at the time, hindi pa uso yung cable, di ba? So, in that particular bill also, uh, we set a parameter. Ano? Halimbawa, mm -hmm. yung building mo is na, in every 15 years, there should be a total audit of your building. Every 15 years? Every 15 years. Okay. Kailangan i-audit yon, At uh, they will, again, issue uh, occupancy permit, no? Right. Uh, if you have a building that say, 20 years na yon, so mm -hmm. it will undergo one uh, structural audit. Mm -hmm. Ang audit na yan will determine whether your building is, um, is still to be retrofitted or kaya in good condition, no, hindi na kailangan retrofit pa, mm -hmm. or i-retrofit siya, or i-demolish yan. Ah, so, yung audit na yan. So, na. yung tatlong factors na yan yeah. can come into play when yes, you look at... Yes, uh, yeah. I see. So, paano yung mga, let's say, there are old buildings. Ang dami natin dito yan. Yeah. Metro Manila, congressman, eh, yeah, di ba? Yeah. So, paano gagawin nila? Not everybody, <coughs> not all building owners can, number one, afford, if for example, to have their buildings, old buildings retrofitted or, you know, compliant with the law. Apa pa anong mangyayari do sa kanila? De-demolish natin gano'n? Well, sa batas na 'yan talagang uh, medyo strict 'yun, ano? How halimbawa, hindi mo ipapa-audit yung building mo and then it, according to the local building official, uh, it really is hazardous to dwellings, mm -hmm. then probably they will issue a closure. closure eh, dito order. sa Manila lang, Marami sir. Yun. Pagdaan mo dito Marami. sa ano, pagdaan uh, ng sasakyan mo sa Manila lang, yeah. City of Manila alone, yeah. 'di ba? Ang dami. At saka yung may mga abandoned buildings, buildings pa. Yeah. So what do we do with those? Can, the, the building official can issue closure or demolition orders. I see. When you say building official, sir, this is within the purview of the new agency that will be formed. Oh, yeah. In, in this particular bill also, it, it provides the creation of a local building office. Ah, okay. In every major cities, chartered cities, major cities, and uh, a group of municipalities. Mm -hmm. Uh, mayroon silang local building official and mm -hmm. then this will be appointed by the local building uh, the national building official uh, in the case the Secretary uh, of okay. So, um, when, ano na po bang status ng uh, bill natin ngayon, Kong? Nasa technical working group na, there are, I think, 14 bills being filed uh, 6 repeal, the other are amendments mm -hmm. and then yung atin uh, 
in-incorporate na natin ngayon sa Technical Working Group. Mm -hmm. TWG. Yeah, and then uh, uh, unfortunately or coincidentally, I am also the chairman of the Technical Working Group. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> um, so paano natin mapapabilis yun? TWG, uh, we have already oh. adopted one. Ano? Uh, yeah. We adopted my bill as the draft bill. Okay. bill. Oh. And then we required our we required our um, uh, the different agencies and uh, uh, other resource persons to put an input to input into the uh, draft bill. Right, right. And then later on we will review it uh, article by article, section by section. Mm -hmm. Alam mo na maraming may mag, maraming debate ito, no? Oh, This oh. is uh, mahirap may I mean To me, medyo ma ma mahirap ito dahil maraming discipline, maraming ha? profession, maraming discipline na mm -hmm. gustong, uh, well, uh, yung kanilang gusto, ang masunod, gano'n naman. They, uh, want, uh, they want to have their own inputs. Yes, diba? yes, yes. Oo. But eventually, uh, because of our desire to have mm -hmm. uh, an updated building, uh, building code, probably this will be fast track. Oo, pero kung, how about in the Senate naman? Meron ba kayong counterpart measure doon? Sino ba ang pinakausap ninyo doon? Well, Kasi kayo ang lead eh, ngayon yes, eh. I, I, I suppose um, si uh, Senator Manny Pacquiao, mm -hmm. he being the chairman of the Committee on Public, Public Works. Public Works, yes. yes. And uh, I think um, uh, Senator uh, Ping Lakson is also interested. Yes. Uh, because of the urgency, actually, yes. the need for the updated uh, building code, I think many senators are interested in, well, co-authoring co this uh, particular well, oh, oh, oh. What bill. about um, using as a strategy uh, in tandem with the uh, directive of our president? For example, when he says, you know, our priority is build, build, build. So obviously, you call that infra, right? The, the, and so when you talk about that, it's not just about... Uh, the uh, horizontal uh, infrastructure, right? Yeah, and, you also talk about others, vertical uh, or otherwise. In fact, I think there is really an urgency because uh, yes. be, because of climate change, no? Yes, absolutely, this, yes. This makes uh, this uh, part the, the demand for the passage of this more uh, strong dahil ka doon sa yung climate change natin. Oo. Siguro, looking forward, there will be, uh, hopefully not, no? Pero ma typhoons will become stronger actually. Right. And oh, uh, earthquakes will, the intensity of earthquakes will be, be stronger also. Mm -hmm. So, kailangan na natin ihanda ang ating mga buildings ngayon. Oo, oh, oh, dapat naman. Alam mo, sa Japan, um, if you have been, yes, you have observed, uh, yes. lahat ng kanilang buildings doon, hay, halos lahat retrofitted na, no? Especially because palagi silang nakaka-experience naka Yes, earthquake. lalo na earthquake. Yes. I think the, the country that is more ready for an earthquake is Japan. Right. So, sa tingin ko, dapat siguro gawin na natin yan, i-pattern natin We yung natin mga same. buildings natin mm -hmm. at design natin to withstand really, especially the, the scenario by big, big one, mm -hmm. kailangan natin i-ready na natin mga buildings ngayon. Tama. Okay, so um, still speaking about uh, earthquakes, <laughs> uh, we're talking about Metro Manila and kukunti pa, may mga ibang urban centers yes. tayo. Yes. So, we'll talk about that before uh, you answer, Congressman. <laughs> Pasensya ka na, alam mo naman, mahilig akong mambitin yeah. dito sa show natin para they will, uh, no, they will uh, still uh, look at us and see the answer. So, that's it. We will uh, pause for a break. Stay with us. Mga isyung pinag-uusapan Mga palitang laman ng pahayagan Impormasyong dapat niyong malaman Tatalakayin, pupusisiin At hihimayin ni Mario Garcia Kasama ang kanyang mga panauhin sa harap ng bayan Face Off Good evening and welcome back to our show, Congress Diaries. And we are still speaking with uh, Congressman Romeo Momo Sr. And we're dealing with earthquakes and uh, that's one of the uh, scariest parts. Kasi mukhang mas madalas ngayon at mas marami. Eh, yung sa taal nga ngayon na uh, Congressman, hindi ba? Nung pumuputok siya or nung nag ano siya, may mga rumblings din sa, within the area. Yeah. So, um, I think this becomes um, more urgent. Diba? To pass a new law na updated for this one. Ang tanong ko sa'yo kanina, paano yung mga nasa probinsya? Well, uh, well, when this bill becomes a law, everybody is required to follow. Of no? course. But uh, in major cities, especially on cities like Dabao, for example, Cebu, mm -hmm. Pagandioro, 
Sambuanga. Mm -hmm. There's no worry about it because I think uh, engineers are available in the area. Yes. And uh, architects and engineers are also available to design, to help them design their buildings. Mm -hmm. Uh, but on the municipalities, uh, na medyo malayo na, no? Oo. Well, that is an additional uh, burden to them. Oo. Kailangan kasi maghanap, halimbawa. Oo. If they are trying to build the multi-story building, uh, then they have to find a structural engineer, which mm -hmm. are not always available in yes, municipalities. Yes, in, in the provinces yes. especially. Yes. Maybe more on the urban areas. Yes. O, oh, ito ang tanong ko sa iyo, Kong. No. Eh, hindi ba? When you look at all the municipalities, uh, LGUs in the Philippines, ay ang mga pinaka, lalo na sa medyo malayo-layo sa atin sa urban areas, ano? ang pinakamalalaking structure yung mga provincial hall, yeah. oo, city hall, municipal hall, eh kung hindi rin sila compliant, papano yun? Well, actually, uh, Kong, uh, medyo uh, sa, akin, sa akin lang, uh, mm. ang mga government buildings actually are more compliant. The yeah. fact that... Um, you think? <coughs> I mean, in theory, <coughs> Kong, pero matagal na kayo sa DPWH. Um, sir, yung nakita nyo naman yung ibang mga violation din ng yeah, mga yeah, actor, ibang... But, pero ang ang, ang, ang kasi yung Kong, hmm. um, they are oftenly subject to audit, no? Ah, Lagi silang that's ina-audit. Right, and then right. they, have, they have their... They so have, they have the chance to rectify whatever yes. um, they mistakes. They have the funds have. that can be used to, to re retrofit their buildings, to repair no, their buildings, maybe, strengthen their buildings. Maybe the third class, second class, first class municipalities. Yeah. But if you're fourth class, fifth class, naku, kung saan sila kukuha ng budget? Department of Public Works and Highways has budget for that. Uh, mayroon naman silang tinatawag na budget for government buildings that can assist them. Okay. In so in that regard, hindi dapat cause for concern for local officials ito. Yes, yes. Oo, yes. kasi kumbaga they can <laughs> uh, they can uh, ably uh, tap the uh, government agencies to help them in updating. Yes, but I would advise that uh, if they think that their building is not uh, compliant anymore, it's, it's weak already then it's time for them to, uh, to really to require uh, their engineers to do the audit already. Right. Kasi kung, uh, I mean, ako, I come from the north, and di ba, dyan yes, sa Pangasinan, yes. there are some uh, municipalities, yung mga, yeah. ano namin, yung municipal hall namin eh, ano pa, um, wood. Yung matagal na, matagal wood. na. Wood, oh, tapos hindi pantay yeah. din. Oh, so, you know what I mean, sir, yes, di ba? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, oh. Okay, so back here in uh, Metro Manila, Ang kinakatakutan nila, uh, Congressman, is that kapag merong malakas na earthquake or even a typhoon, di ba, yung mga maraming may crack na sa buildings, especially old buildings, di ba, it is really in danger, di ba? So, paano natin malalaman ngayon if you're like an ordinary citizen, for example, or if you're an ordinary user, you, you go and uh, you are part of that building or kahit nasa vicinity, how do they know? Na, uh, and uh, what can they do? Well, uh, actually, responsib responsibilidad yun ng may-ari ng, 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 ng building. Yes, na right of course. Sana, lalo na if their buildings are for uh, for public use mm -hmm. or kaya mga apartments ito. Or, or yung mga yeah. old na commercial. Or, yeah, yeah, oh. or commercial buildings. It is incumbent upon the owners really to have the audit. Yung audit talaga yung pinaka-important mm -hmm. yun. So what are the penalties uh, that... Uh, are enumerated there in the proposed measure, do you think that will make them comply, that will make them think twice uh, before they violate? Well, medyo mabigat ang penal clause doon. Ano? Mm -hmm. In fact, may mga criminal uh, liabilities na sila din. Of course, may criminal liability yun. Oo. Well, uh, uh, sa, sa batas na yun, talagang naka, naka, nakahiwalay yung mga responsibilities ng bawat, ha, bawat part ng in the construction of building. For example, you are a designer, you, ha, you, are, you are one, no? If it is a complex building, uh, there is a peer review. review. Mm -hmm. So there is a peer reviewer that is assigned by the LGU, or local, uh, uh, local building official, yes. that will review the, the design, for example. Mm -hmm. Then they have their own responsibilities also. I see. Uh, then, pangalawa, yung, yung owner of, of building, mm -hmm. and then yung contractor ng building. Yes. Then yung mga local building officials, lahat yun ay nakalagay yung kanila mga respective responsibilities and they will the penalties that they will, uh, they will suffer oh, oh. when they violate. Ah, I see. Okay, so um, when you look at that, halimbawa po naman sa mga ano natin, um, horizontal na infrastructure, yeah. flyovers, mm. and even bridges, lalo na yung mga bridges 
outside of the metropolis ano so paano po ba ito how will you look at them and how will you determine in the department of public works and highways right now there is a program that uh, continually um, look into the the strength and the conditions of uh, all the uh, horizontal um, structures and bridges as well mm -hmm. so sa ngayon uh, mayroon silang program retrofitting it isang programa talaga yon mm -hmm. in in their in their general appropriations uh, fund there is a certain uh, provision for the retrofitting of all um, bridges throughout the country no? yes Uh, so, ginagawa na nila yon. In fact, in Metro Manila, halos lahat na yata ng mga tulay natin, lalo na those spanning across uh, Pasig River, they are already retrofitted. They have been already retrofitted. You know? Right. And in fact, there are, uh, what do we call that, oxilography that is installed. Yung pang nag-measure ng mga intensity ng earthquake oh, okay. in some of the bridges in, across uh, uh, Pasig River. Right. So, ngayon, uh, okay tayo. Eh, paano yung mga... Nila? Nasa, eh, Buong Pilipinas ito. Actually, as, the program of the Department of Public Works and Highways right now, throughout the Philippines yun, ang ginagawa nilang retrofitting ng kanilang bridges. However, dahil siguro sa, of course, yung, <laughs> yung kakulangan ng pundo rin, di ba? Yes. So, hindi sabay-sabay ginagawa ito. Right. But they have identified which is to be prioritized. Mm -hmm. Mayroon silang mga aral niyan. Oh, at least. Also ngayon, para sa mga, yun na nga, kakulangan ng pondo, it's always naman a concern yeah. for everybody, di ba? So, uh, yung meron ba kayong mga iba kong na mga solutions, proposed solutions, for those that are not yet able to comply, should the law be passed already? Halimbawa, may grace period ba sila? Or, kasi lalo na yung mga nakita ninyo na nagva-violate, di ba? E di syempre, kung talagang hindi sila nag-retrofit, eh, paano kung yung mga private to, I'm talking about the well, private. Well, sa bagong batas na binigay na, nilagay natin, talagang medyo mahigpit na talaga dyan. Ano? Mm -hmm. it, it, it says that For strict once you, 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 there is no non-compliance, mm -hmm. may mga appropriate penalties sa may-ari ng building. Oo nga, dapat naman kung, oh. oo. Eh, paano yung mga informal settlers naman? Well, that is one of the concern. In fact, um, kung, alam, uh, kung alam natin, alam naman natin na yung JICA study says that uh, when there is a, the big one will hit Metro Manila, those unengineered buildings or medium-rise building that had not been properly retrofitted, yun ang unang biktima ng earthquake na yan. And, yes, and, and the death uh, tool comes from this kind of this group. No? Mm -hmm. So, ang structural engineer, uh, yung structural association of the Philippines, meron sila mga handouts, no? Mm -hmm. Sa mga self-build houses, marami yon, di ba? Right, right. Ayan, sinabi namin, unengineered buildings yan. Mm -hmm. uh, self-build yon, So, meron silang ha, ginagawang parang handout, uh, teaching the owners how to construct a building. I see. Lalo na yung mga, sinabi mo nga, yung mga informal settlers, yes, gumagawa oh. lang ng kanilang yes, kanilang oh, building. Yes, oh. Sana that they got hold of that para at least they guide, they will guide, it will guide them on how to construct a, a, a building, maybe, a house. Maybe part of that siguro uh, should be the information campaign that uh, you can give also para yung mga bagong ngayon o kaya yung mga, yung mga bagong measures na yan, nalalaman din sa probinsya. Especially kung kasi lalo na alam mo naman when they build um, yung mga houses, doon sa province, bukod sa hindi nagtatanong, bukod sa problema sa lupa, okay? Eh, yung ano nila, may four corners dyan at may bubong bahay na. Yeah. Oo, eh. Actually, uh, yes, uh, actually during our uh, uh, hearing that uh, we have, the technical working group have been conducting hearings already. Yes. Ang kasama dyan yung mga, yung associations ng mga, yung mga, ano, yung mga, Nag, nag, gumagawa ng mga yes. locust housing. No? Yes, of course. Kasi yung mga locust housing na yan, yun ang may problema. Kasi oh. yun ang sabi nga namin, wala, hindi talaga properly reinforced. Yes. So, siguro, when the, pag lulusot ng batas na ito, magiging batas ng bill na ito, uh, this will be cascaded by the local uh, building officials in different places. Mm -hmm. Yung sinabi mo nga, nga, sa mga malalayong lugar, at least malalaman ng mga tao, ng mga mm -hmm. stakeholders, that there is already law, uh, and then it will teach them also, lalo na doon, it will assist them, lalo mm -hmm. na yung mga, mga informal settlers, mm -hmm. how to build their buildings or houses, 
through the local building officials. Right. Okay, so that's clear enough, uh, Kong. Eh, paano naman yung mga katulad nan, sinabi mo, yung mga low-cost uh, housing developers? Uh, tapos, we're not talking about the buildings, but actually yung horizontal na development, no? Paano yan? Eh, yung mga nagawa na nila noon pa. Di bali kung lahat sila kasing yaman ni Senator Villar, di ba? Eh, paano kung hindi? Paano natin, uh, how do we look at that? For example, if you are an owner, you were able to buy yung one of those low-cost housings, di ba? And at the time, you know, of obviously, it, the the code is different, di ba? Yeah. From when you pass the law. Yes, right. So, paano yun? Sino yung mag-aayos nun? Yung bang owner? Yung developer? Paano? Well, sa tingin ko, um, yung owner na siguro, no? Ah, sila na. Uh, uh, eh, low cost nga sila, sir. Kaya nga low cost binili nila. Remember, eh. Wala na silang pambili ng medyo, it, It's no? your life is at stake, no? no? Dapat. So, dapat siguro, yes. if, uh, well, if you have to wait for the developer, baka hindi pa nila gagawin yun. Mm. So, kung ako siguro ang may-ari, well, I have really have to appropriate some of my funds mm -hmm. para doon sa uh, bahay na yun. Kasi, the house it really is supposed to be, to be a safe dwelling for everybody, Tama, no? lalo naman. na sa mga anak natin. Literal na kabuhayan mo ang Bahaya, nakataya. Buhay mo nga ang nakataya oh, talaga yan. Oo, oh, dahil pagka hindi, eh, kayo rin ang magsasuffer. Nga. Oh, yan, yan. Oh, that's right. Okay, so now at this point, uh, Kong, let's take a look at uh, yung, uh, yung roadmap para mapasa ang iyong uh, batas na yan. So, before you answer that, Kong, alam mo na naman, kailangan natin, we have mag kailangan magtrabaho. <laughs> we will pause for a break. Stay with us. The Philippines has been around for centuries. Malayo na rin ang narating natin. But back then, the way of life has been mostly analog. Did you know that you need to take a boat from Cavite in order to go to Manila? Yes, ganon ang takbo ng buhay dati. You need to send a letter to the United States? Sure, pero aabutin ka ng isang buwan bago matanggap ang iyong liham. Kailangan mong tumawag sa bahay o sa iyong kaibigan? Many ways to do that. Pwede ka maghulog ng tatlong 25 sa payphone or use that vintage rotary phone na most likely 6 digits lang ang landline number. Forget about email. Telex at fax machine ang modes of communication for business. You want to listen to that one song of your favorite band on repeat? Sorry pero kailangan mong i-rewind ang cassette tape. Buong album naman ang kailangan mong bilhin kahit iisang kanta lang ang gusto mo doon. But things change, and we as a race progress. The world is getting small. We are now a traveling population. Why? Because travel is now cheap. Our friends are across the world because our form of communication is now borderless. Time zones are now meant to serve as a guide and not as a limitation. We can buy things from the comfort of our homes. Nasanay na tayo sa convenience because why not? It is the price of development and a glimpse of our future. Have you imagined the future? How do you think it will look like? Driverless cars? Yes, autonomous driving will happen. Robots replacing low-value processes done by humans? Tama ka dyan. Paying for your groceries using digital currency? Very realistic. Materials being 3D printed instead of ordering? Yes, we are indeed a progressive race. And technology plays a vital and crucial part of it. How will this affect our lives? Kailangan ba natin itong matutunan? Mahirap ba itong aralin? Or kaya naman? How can our nation take advantage of these advancements? All of these can be understood and learned. Tayo ng matuto para umunlad. Nandito na ang Abante. Progress through technology. Good evening and welcome back to our show, Congress Diaries. Our guest for tonight is Congressman Romeo Momo Sr. And uh, we were discussing about the proposed new National Building Code. So, Congressman, andito na tayo ngayon. So, you said, uh, nasa technical working group na kayo. So, when do you expect, what is your timeline, what is your goal? Ano ba ang wish list mo? When do you expect a committee report? And then, uh, papano natin yung mga measures na... Gusto ninyong mangyari para pati yung uh, upper house which or the Senate uh, will also move para maging batas yan. Well, actually, I'm looking uh, into the possibility of uh, having another one or two or the most is three man, um, technical working group meeting uh -oh. to iron out some uh, uh, sections 
uh, in that particular bill. Mm -hmm. And hopefully after, the next meeting will be in February 26. Oh, malapit na rin. Malapit na rin. Oh. So, uh, we're just waiting for the, in, uh, the inputs of different uh, resource persons yes. uh, and resource agencies. Right. Ano ba yung main concern nila, uh, Kong? Meron ba silang, ano, meron bang objection? Ano? O ano ba yung mga main concerns? And uh, how do you seek to address that? Well, Para matanggal yung roadblock, hindi ba? Well, ang differing opinion lang na nakita kong may, com may conflict on. One is um, mm -hmm. between architects and engineers. No? Because okay. uh, according to, the, to the, the, the proposal, that the local building official shall be either an architect, an engineer. Mm -hmm. It's But any of the two. Any of the two. But in the proposal of the architects, uh, they are proposing that it should only be the architect. I see. So, yun ay isang masinimuot na uh, Oo, dahil bagay. kung engineer ka, yeah. syempre, ayaw mo nun. Okay. <laughs> syempre, maraming magre-react ang uh, side ng mga engineers. So, how do you propose to find a solution for well, this? Well, that's why. There the technical living group. We, during our meetings, kailangan i-discuss namin totally mm -hmm. ang advantages and disadvantages of both. No? Right. So, once we have that, uh, yun lang naman ang tingin ko, malsalimod ah, yun, ng mga bagay. Ano? And then, after that, uh, yung membership siguro ng council na sinabi ko because this is very important. That's ano? right. How many uh, members of uh, this council are you oh, looking at? I think 12. 12 members. 12, ano, so, okay. Yeah. So, and then, and then the functions and duties of each, each um, uh, yung council na yan, and then yung offices that will be created later on. No? Yes, yes. So, uh, because you are proposing that uh, there is a dedicated office already that will, parang hindi, parang ad hoc lang or whatever sa isang yes, agency, parang kailang isang buo na talagang opisina that can focus really on the job of, the, uh, of a building official. I see. Now, uh, yun lang ang nakita kong problema, but hopefully we can iron it out. That's why mga maybe two or three more meetings and then and then we'll uh, submit it to the committee mm -hmm. on public works. Once it will pass in the committee public works, then second reading na daya. That's true, ano? <coughs> Pero kung ano naman to, eh, no? you have uh, gained the support naman of majority in the House for uh, this one. Yeah, because, sabi ko nga, because of the urgency and the need. Yes. So oh. talagang kailangan na natin i-update. Tayo na lang yata ang bansa na hindi pa nag-update ng oh, ating building code. Ibig sabihin nun, uh, pwede rin sigurong ipakiusap na kasama ito sa priority measures? Ah, hopefully sana. Baka, baka pwede magiging priority bill ng, ng ating administration. Mm -hmm. mas, mas, mas madali, mas mapabilis. Ano? That's true. But uh, sa tingin ko, it will go uh, smooth sailing probably in, in the plenary. Dahil mm -hmm. nga sa... sa 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 urgency nga ng bill na ito. Yes. Kaya lang yung yun lang sina nakita kong problema yung yung conflict between the two uh, to stakeholders of oh, oh, the professions uh, who are both stakeholders both also. Stakeholder, major stakeholders. Oh, oh in the industry, in di ba? Oh, you yes. need an architect and an engineer at the yes, same time. Yes. Oh, oh, that's true. So ano po ang inyong goal? Uh, timeline. Um when do you expect to see this uh, uh, bill become a law? Hopefully, Hopefully within the year. Within this year, yeah, ha? Sana, sana nga, ano? Oh. Ano ba ang difference ito dun sa proposed Department of Disaster Resilience? Ay, ba yan? Uh, Malayo, magkai totally uh, different, uh, ano? Yeah, it's totally different. But mm -hmm. again, there is another opinion that, uh, another proposal from the architects again, that instead of uh, putting it and the uh, Department of Public Works and Highways as, as an agency supervising it, mm -hmm. it should be placed in in the new, newly created uh, Department of Human Settlement. Yung bago, bago rin ah, yan. Oo, oh, bago, bago, bago rin to yan. ngayon. Uh, eh. So, ano naman ang inyong uh, pananaw dyan? <laughs> well, I think hindi. Uh, sa, sa, sa tingin ko, it will stay. Mm -hmm. Because not, not only the Department of Public Works and Highways, the engineering arm of the government, but uh, yung kanilang capability sa nandun, na built in na sa kanila yun. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I think uh, they are more knowledgeable in terms of uh, construction rather than the new Department of Public uh, Human So totally, magkaiba talaga sila. Hindi pwedeng i, uh, dalin dun sa newly created na so, department. Sa tingin ko, magkakaiba. Oo. Magkakaiba talaga. Okay. So uh, finally, um, ilan ba kayo uh, kung na nag-file ng mga bills dyan? 
Although you are the main, yeah. right? So, there are 14, I think. 14 different, kadami. Different, uh, different bills. So actually, that's also a good sign, meaning to say everybody wants it. Yes. yes Oo, yes. hindi ba? Oo nga. So lahat yun, you have you married the existing provisions yes. that the, the other ones uh, had given? Have you? Um, yes, we already had have, um, done it, put it in a matrix format, of course. Uh, mm -hmm. Sanay ka naman dyan. Mm -hmm. uh, Oo nga eh. Game. Oo. At uh, nakita... Yung mga advantage, disadvantage, differing uh, articles, and so on and so forth. So, hina-harmonize lang natin yan, and uh, uh, hopefully, nga, mabab mababdali. Sa tingin ko, madali na lang naman. Oo. Uh, kasi yung, yung draft bill na nilagay namin is almost encompassing. Eh. Mm -hmm. So, all the, all the salient points and other bills were already included in this particular uh, uh, draft bill. Okay, so um, hopefully that makes it uh, easier, di ba? Your, yes. That makes your job easier and uh, we, we hope that uh, you will have smooth sailing uh, for that. We hope for that kasi ako naging congressman din ako and uh, napakahirap i-shepherd yung uh, bill para yeah. maging isang batas. You have to compete with yes, everyone else. Yes, yes. Okay, so um, we are now in the final stretch of our program. no? So ang tanong ko naman sa'yo, um, quickly Kong, as a party list representative, of course, malapit sa puso ko yan dahil party list din ako nang galing. So, uh, as the party list representative for CWS, ano po ba yung uh, inyong mga goals uh, for uh, helping your constituents? And what do you think is, is, you know, is needed? We are, actually, we are a party list that represent the construction workers. Yes. When we see construct construction workers, mm -hmm. these are the work, the, the sector that is doing your building, your mm -hmm. houses, everything, no? mm -hmm. your roads, your bridges, these yes. are the, and uh, according to records of uh, Dolly, uh, the data of Dolly, there are about 4 million construction workers in the country Talaga? right now. Yes, yes. Wow. Now, um, our advocacy really is to upgrade the skills of our construction workers. No? Mm -hmm. So, sa ngayon kasi, kung makita mo, uh, there are skilled workers coming from other countries yes. in Asia competing with us. Correct. This is because they wanted our our owners of building wanted equality uh, to be at work, par with right? the yeah, yeah yes world so to class, be at par course. with them we should oh. upgrade our skills also I so see. through training. So sa oh okay so now you are trying to develop some uh, training programs to help uh, the ordinary construction workers. Is that it. We are trying to 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 to, uh, to ask the. TESDA, mm -hmm. uh, coordinate with TESDA to come mm -hmm. up with the modified or improved version of their, their module mm -hmm. na mag na, again, to be at par with other countries. Ano? That's right. Because of the emerging technologies right now in terms mm -hmm. of uh, uh, tools by, by Oo, carpenter, mara, marami by, by na pong bago ngayon eh. Oo, oh, eh. Kailangan, oh, ma, ma, di, ma will, na will be upgrade yung, yung skills nila. Oo, oh, oh, that's at right. Least, alam na nila din. For example, mga equipments, oh, oh. Mga equipments kaya kasi multi-use ng isang mga equipments. So, they really have to ha to be trained also in terms, not only on driving, but also on using computers already. That's true. Okay, so napakaganda po ng inyong advocacy. So, we wish you well on that, uh, Congressman. And of course, sana pag nakita tayo ulit, igigess ka namin dito. Yeah. Eh, third reading na yung ano mo at mapapasa na. Sana nga. Oo, Oo nga. nga. So, sana. we wish you well in that endeavor, Kong. And uh, please update us uh, yes, if you have time, time, more Kong. updates on that. Yes. Okay, thank you. And uh, that's our uh, guest uh, for this evening, Congressman Romeo Momo Sr. And that is our show for tonight for Congress Diaries. We will be back next week to take another look at the pending bills in Congress and to see if these proposed laws deserve to become real laws. I'm your host, Kim Bernardo Lokin. Good night and see you next week.